freezing officially. I'm freezing and not crying, so that's nice. <laughs> I told you that cold dip would perk me back up and I wouldn't be so emotional. And after 40 minutes in the freezing cold 54 degree river, I have snapped into a Slim Jim and I am back to myself. <laughs> the best I can be. I was all telling my friends, I was crying before I came and look at me now. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes life can just have a way of kicking you between the whatnot. Life has a way of kicking you in the balls. We'll just say it. Okay. Life has a way of kicking you in the balls sometimes. And, um, this shit can be real. And, uh, it's not always pretty. I don't even want to put that video of me being emotional. I can just imagine what people are going to say then. Woo! Shite. It's a risk that I have to take, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not always pretty. Sometimes it's messy and it looks like a ground river rat. It is what it is, man. The house is so cute. I totally adore it. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so cold right now. It just hit me like how freaking cold I am after spending 40 minutes in the river. But I totally needed every second of that, man. Actually, it was 40 plus. I always say like, I yeah. 40 plus in the river. I feel great now though. And it's not even like two minutes out of the drive and I'm not even shaking nearly as bad. It was just more of like an initial shaking and freezing. Shite. Can't really see me because of the sun, so sorry about that. There we go. It's hard, like I want to explain so much, you know, and say so many things and pour my heart out even more. But I just feel like that's pointless. It doesn't really matter. I'm a human being at the end of the day and I have feelings and that's just what it is. Little old me over here has some feelings. So what can you do? Cold dip, two, three, four. Go cold dip and uh, hopefully that's enough to shake you up, and get your shit back on track so that you're not being an emotional wreckage of a person. And I'm not, if you knew me in real life, you would know that I'm not a crybaby. I'm not a person who gets emotional or cries or anything like that. Like I just, um, was having to, having my feelings. Am I not allowed to have my feelings? But I have them, so. Now I gotta go home. Get to getting on whatever's going on at home. Probably time to feed the kids. It's hard to see me. So this is not gonna be fun because you can't hardly see me. Sorry about that. But I feel better, so that's the good news there. dipping so much because I know that oftentimes I like to reiterate that it helps me with my pain management I don't emphasize eat nearly enough how much it helps with my mental um, my reaction my filming here was genuine it was it's sincere like I have feelings I was crying I was upset like the things people have to say to me usually I'm able to shuck and jive it and not really pay it too much mind and it was a simple comment but it's just <laughs> It's just like the straw on the camel's back of all the things, you know, that I feel and think right now. And it's just like, damn, man, you know, like my, what I bring, it just, it's just not enough. 
sometimes. And I'm aware of that. I'm fully aware of that. I am not like all knowing at all. Like I don't have it figured out. I don't know anything, but who does? And if you do watching, please leave in the comments how this gets better. Okay. You know, if you think you have the winning, be all tell all answer, please do not spare me and leave it in the comments. You know, I do not like to cry. It makes me feel like a weak person. I like to just make sure that I'm stoic and that unless the situation really calls for it, I am not the type of person who just cries. I can literally feel sad for you and cry for you in my inside, but like, I just don't, I'm not the type of person who cries. But sometimes I am, man. I always tell my kids, let it out. Don't, don't hold it in. Don't keep it in. If you feel it, you feel it and let it out, man. Because I don't want my kids to feel like they can't express themselves when they feel the way they feel. So if they feel it, let it out. I need to take my own advice and, um, yeah, just let it out. And so I did, you know, I'm not perfect. I know I said that many times, you know, you watching know that I'm not perfect. I've never tried to pretend in your presence or anybody else's presence that I am. I'm like starving right now. I really want like a burger. <laughs> I love hamburgers. <laughs> I'm very picky about my French fries. I'm just gonna change the subject altogether. Okay, we're just gonna change the subject because after I cold dipped, I'm in a much better mood now. I am not the emotional wreckage that I was before, okay? Bottom line. Cold dipping helps me turn my frown upside down. Whatever hell, uh, hell is going, whatever hell the hell is going on in my brain, I, um, I'm overcoming it with cold dipping because it's like a self-preservation thing. You know, your whole life flashes before your eyes when you start walking in that cold ass water. And if you don't think it does, and you know, you're wrong because you, you're doing something that your body is telling you that you should not be doing. And your mind is telling you, you should not be doing this. And so you want to get the hell out of there as quickly as possible. And when you fight all those things, man, you'd be surprised how difficult that is. <sighs> Heat feels really good right now. I'm super loving it. Cold dipping also makes me really hungry. I love that too. I know it's a weird thing to say, but um, it really helps me shiver up an appetite. <laughs> and I just, when, when, when I do go to eat, like I certainly do enjoy it more. Well, these guys are like walking really close to the, really close to the road there, which is scary. Hopefully they know what they're doing. <laughs> Anyways, it helps me work up an appetite, which is something I get that I'm very appreciative for because um, food just tastes better when you're hungry. I don't like to mindlessly eat. I only like to eat when I'm hungry, like really hungry because that's just the way I am. So after I cold dip, because I don't like to eat before I go cold dip, um, typically I don't. Nine times out of 10, I do not eat before I go cold dip. Um, but when I do leave cold dipping, I am super duper hungry. So it makes food even that much more enjoyable for me as far as I'm concerned. I'm not saying that you have to, you know, do what I do. I'm just saying this is what I do. That's all. And I don't mind being hungry, like, when I get done cold dipping. Like, I'm not bothered by that. That's completely fine for me. It just makes food more enjoyable when I'm hungry. <laughs> well, it's one of those things. So, it does a, a plethora of things to me. It makes my mind, pops me out, pops, pops me into a better frame of mind afterwards, whatever if I'm not like in the bestest of whatever. Yeah, puts me in a better space. Appreciate that, cold dip in. Um, I wasn't sore before I went because I have not been running this week as of yet. Does it mean I'm not going to? I don't know. I just, <sighs> take a deep breath. I just feel like I've earned just a little bit of a break. Maybe I haven't. After running 14 miles last week, which you've heard me say a thousand times, I just want a break. I'm so behind on so much in my life from the choices that I make to better myself. It puts me behind in other ways in my life. You know, like it just does. I could emphasize, but I don't care to. So we'll just leave it there. 
people feel neglected and whatnot. There's just not enough of me to go around. <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's funny, because it's not funny to me. I, I literally mean that, like there's just not enough of me to go around. I feel so much better now. Cold dipping does that to me. I'm so freaking grateful. Cause like, I don't, I can't even imagine what people do to like tune them, themselves up. That's what I call it. Tuning yourself up, you know, dialing yourself in. I mean, we're like vibrational beings, you know, you have to be tuned up. You have to get yourself back in tune, like to be the high vibrational being that you want to be. At least that's how I feel. Like, I don't like to be low vibe, man, at all. I don't like to do negative shit. I don't like to have negative thoughts. I certainly don't like to project negativity onto other people. So that's why I go cold dip, man. Tune myself up. Keeps me in check. <laughs> and a few other things, but I don't want to say those things here. Because it just I'm just saying, like, I don't have to do no real time in prison or anything because I'm keeping myself dialed in and check. Take that however you want to. I'm just saying, you know, the world can make a person be reactive sometimes. So for little old me to be less reactive, I cold dip. It really humbles me, puts my life into perspective. I have a great uh, amount of appreciation and respect and gratitude after I'm done for the, after ha having done such a thing. It makes me feel like I'm soaring on top of the world. And I don't want to quit running, so... Um, I utilize the two. They go hand in hand for me, you know. After I I do a serious run. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> you guys, if you saw the shit that I saw, you'd get distracted, too. This man walking by literally had, like, a branch as a hat on his head. And it was, like, covering his face, all these leaves in front of him. Like, he was, like, in, like, he had, a, uh, what are they called? Gurney suits, I think. Um, I probably said that wrong. But, you know, the suits that you wear when you go, when you go hunting or... If you're a sniper with one of those suits, that's what he looked like walking down the street. <laughs> Only in Spokane. Or maybe wherever you're at, too. Maybe it's a little interesting. I don't know. The heat feels really good. I'm loving that. It's like, oh, it was like almost 80 degrees when I went to cold dip, but shout out to my buddy Dana. She was telling me that it has dropped four degrees while we were there. So I was like, Jam, how did the water heat up so fast when it cools down so quickly? 54 degrees in the river today, you guys. 79 in the air, 78, 79. I think 79 was the hottest, the high of the day. So how did it even... <laughs> I just hope that it, the water doesn't heat up that fast. Even though it's looking like it's going to be... There's not much of a current where I was at, so maybe that's part of the reason why the water doesn't heat up that fast. I don't know. All the trees and everything looks so beautiful right now. It makes me so happy. This is, summer is one of my favorite time of years. Like, my whole life I've been a summer girl, you know? So, this is just makes me happy. Less clothes, more outdoor activities, more swimming, more sun. All those things make me happy. Is this guy getting over? Gosh darn it. I need to get over here while he gets over there. Everything's looking so beautiful and lush right, right now. Camera ahead. Is there somebody crossing? I can't tell. Maybe not. Oh. Maybe they already crossed. Uh, I don't see them. <laughs> not for me. This is what I do to turn my frown upside down. Because I go cold dip and I feel in a way better mood. Whatever is in, in store for me, whatever is in front of me, I am going to be able to handle it with ease. I don't know about grace, if I'll have grace when I do it, but <laughs> pray for me so that I do, if you will. I just, I don't know what people do to get themselves dialed back in, tuned up, man. I know like a lot of people will go out drinking and stuff, go out to the bar. 
I just, I don't want that for my life. Man, those people over across the way are looking real rough. about the creamer um like dare I say like a donut like I could dip a donut in some coffee that sounds really tasty right now actually an old-fashioned glazed donut that's my favorite comment below what your favorite donut is I'm just curious some people like the donut holes which dependent like if they're there are they powdered sugar donuts because those ones are my least favorite I like the little glazed ones <laughs> I love a um Maple bar, of course, even the ones with bacon, love those. Um, but I don't know, I'm kind of picky about that too. You know what I'm saying? So it, dep it depends. I don't eat donuts a lot. You can tell I'm hungry because I'm talking about donuts. I don't even know why I'm talking about donuts. I just passed a coffee sh shop actually. That's why it's a cute little coffee shop back there. It's adorable and um, I've, I, you know, right in this moment, it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that I'm back to myself and happy again. <laughs> Today, man, I was just like not feeling it. I was just not vibing. What can you do? Sometimes you're just gonna have those days, but you gotta get yourself snapped out of it, man. Because there are so many people in my life that are not rooting for me, who are pretending to root for me that are not rooting for me. And I know that they may not know that I know that, but that's okay. It is what it is. That's just the way life is, man. There's not everybody in your life is going to be there like they say that they're going to be there. They don't even know that themselves, okay? They give you what they can. Maybe they don't. Who knows? It's not up for the, it's not their job, their responsibility. You have to do it for yourself. I'm just telling you, you guys, you have to get out there and make your own, create your own happiness, whatever that is, you know? Regardless of who's rooting tooting for you, okay? Regardless of who's clapping you on from the sidelines, clap for your damn self. Be your own cheerleader, man. You have to, because otherwise you'll be waiting for other people and they don't show up and then you're disappointed. You have to, don't wait for Captain Save a Ho, okay? Get out there and save yourself, man, even if you're not a ho. <laughs> this is a garage sale right here, yard sale. That's what I need to do. I need to do a yard sale of some type. I don't know. I just want to encourage you and support you. Little old me who has never met in person. I just want to encourage and support you to live your best life the best that you can. Life is longer or short no matter what it is for each of us. We have to create our own little bit of happiness. It's within your reach. It's within your reach, man. Even though I'm still reaching for it. <laughs> I know nothing. I don't pretend to know anything. I tell you that all the time. But um, what you do know is that I do do my best to create my own little happiness. Whatever that means for me, you know. Whatever that means for you. I hope that you create it. Thanks for driving home with me. Thank you for driving there with me. Thank you for all those who have kind things to say to me of love and support. It really means a lot to little old me my swimsuit so thanks for everything sorry for being an emotional wreck but it is what it is to the next adventure peace out yo love you bye love you bye love you bye love you bye